this is uh, Al Fix It again, and I got a shower that drips, and uh, so this is our next video. We're going to fix that shower from dripping all night. It seems like no matter how tight you tighten the handles, it just drips, and uh, it's annoying during the night. So, with a few tools that you might have around the house, it's probably all you need, and we're going to get started and take this uh, shower apart and fix it right quick. So I discovered by cranking on these uh, which one it is that's making this drip and it seems to be this one. We might replace both, uh, fix them both while we're at it but anyway I would tackle the one that's uh, definitely giving the problem. So to start with we're just going to take this handle off. Actually I'll put this down here. It's uh, not too hard to do. Got a Phillips screwdriver. The reason I have this other tool here is because I remember that this has a universal knob and it requires just a, an Allen tool. I believe that goes right there. And there we have it. Now, see this is kind of funky. It's probably not even the right chrome piece here. But once you get this chrome piece off, there's actually nothing more you can do until you turn the water off to the house. So, There we have, see there's a flat spots on here. That's where we're gonna put our wrench on there to twist this out, this whole stem. And then we're gonna take it down to the hardware store and get the right parts. So actually the next step before you go any further than this is to go shut off the water to the house. All right. So you probably need just a few basic tools to turn the water off. Most of the time it's out by the sidewalk. And uh, it's just a metal plate. Well, let's see what we got. Let's turn it off a little bit. Maybe. Yeah. So. There's a valve right here, and when you turn that crossways with a whatever wrench you're going to use, probably a bigger crescent wrench than this, and uh, when you turn it crossways, it's supposed to turn the water off. So, and then when you're ready, slowly turn it back on, and uh, that's where you do it. But now that uh, now that the water is turned off. We're going to go ahead and take this out of here. Like I say, there's two flat spots to hook your wrench on. Careful now, there's water coming out of the power head. <laughs> So this is the doohickey. We're going to take this, uh, actually inside of there is a screw we take that out and there's a rubber washer. And anyway, we take all this down to the hardware store and get what we need to fix it. So I went to the store and I picked up, actually the closest hardware store was Lowe's to me. And I got these little washers here. And the way you can do it is to look on the back of the package. There's a little thing for size reference. So you take your little washer out of here and you stick it on the back of the package to see if it's the right one. 
which I actually did in the store. If that has trouble coming out, you just do like that with your screwdriver. And you see how that that washer is kind of flat. It's actually dished in, and it's supposed to be kind of cone shaped. But that's just how wore out it is, I believe. I hope I'm right. If I got the right ones, so we're gonna stick the new washer in, and it goes in this way. There's a little cup-like thing inside to to hold it. So just get it down. Whoops! It flipped over. Well, it's just a matter of getting it the right side up here, and then work it down into the little cup. Once it's in the little cup, then you want to put the screw in. And there we got it. They don't have to be super tight. They don't get ridiculous with this. It's just going to squish in the rubber a little bit. And that's tight enough. So then we put that back together.